Welcome back to my channel. I am Chef Pretty and today's pretty meal, we're gonna be making lobster mac and cheese. I just love lobster mac because it puts a nice spin on your typical mac and cheese and it's great if you're a seafood lover. I'm also gonna pair it with steak and asparagus. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You don't wanna miss my next pretty and delicious meal. First, take one of your lobster tails, flip it on its back, and we're going to cut it in half with a knife. Now I'm going to run some pouring water and clean my lobster tail. On medium heat, we're gonna add three slices of butter onto our cooking skillet. Go ahead and add in your lobster tails to the pan. Next up, add in your lemons. This is what's really gonna bring out that flavor. Add one tablespoon of seasoned salt. A half a tablespoon of black pepper. One fourth cup of lemon juice. One half tablespoon of minced garlic. One fourth cup of parsley. One pound of macaroni noodles. I filled up my pot with water halfway and now I'm gonna add my macaroni noodles. Add five slices of butter. One tablespoon of seasoned salt. Add one tablespoon of black pepper. Now take your spoon to stir all of the ingredients together. Boil your noodles for 15 to 20 minutes until your noodles are nice and soft. And now it's time to make our roux. We're gonna take a pan on medium heat and add two cups of whole milk. Add four slices of butter. 
take your cooking utensil and mix the butter and the milk all together. Add one cup of flour. Utilize your whisk and stir to ensure there are no lumps. Let it simmer for about five minutes. Add a half a pound of shredded Gruyere cheese. Next up, a half a pound of shredded Romano cheese. Also add a half a pound of Parmesan cheese. And a half a pound of shredded cheddar cheese. Utilize your whisk and blend in all the cheeses into the roux. Keep stirring until all of your cheeses have melted. One tablespoon of nutmeg. A half a tablespoon of black pepper. Utilize your whisk again and stir all of the ingredients so they are blended together. four slices of butter and stir until melted. Add one teaspoon of parsley. Let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and stir so the cheese doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Mmm, look how good that looks. The cheese is blended in so nicely. Last, let's add in our cooked macaroni noodles. Take your spoon and blend it in all together. I don't know about you, but my mouth is watering right now. Let's prep our lobster mac to get ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna utilize nonstick spray and spray it on the base of the cooking dish. The nonstick spray is gonna help to ensure the noodles won't stick to the dish. Of course we can't forget about our lobster tails. We're gonna take our lobster tails and separate the shell from the meat. Now we're gonna add one fourth cup of panko breadcrumbs on top of our macaroni and cheese.
Next up, add your chopped lobster tail. Turn your oven on to 375 and allow your lobster mac to cook for 30 to 45 minutes. I set aside one lobster tail for the pretty plating aesthetic at the end. While our lobster mac and cheese is cooking, I'm going to start working on our ribeye steaks. I just love using the Lowry Steak Marinade. It has onions, garlic, and red bell pepper. For our vegetables, I'm gonna cook asparagus. Add one tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of butter, add one tablespoon of seasoned salt, a half a tablespoon of black pepper, One tablespoon of minced garlic. Wow, look at this plate, you guys. This meal looks so delicious. I can't wait to take a bite out of it. I really like how the lobster brings out a seafood flavor in the mac and cheese, as well as I paired it with steak and asparagus. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as turn on your post notifications. You don't wanna miss my next pretty and delicious meal. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.